this is this is a nice place. This is so strange, Chris. I don't understand. It, but now we got to pick it up, though. Yeah. We can See, we collect things for geologic interest more so than the jemmy stuff like the agates. Of course, it's always fun to find an agate. But as you know, we're kind of mostly looking at all those other rocks. Here we're seeing a few little snowflakes. We can call these uh, Chinese writing rock or flower stone. They're not brilliant, but there are a few nice clusters. I hope you guys can see the reflections. They're shiny in the sun. Yeah, what do you think? It's mostly on the end here. I think we'll take it. Look at those little ones too. I've never seen them where they're different sizes. Oh, yeah. See, so there's these big ones like this. And there's little ones. Like and there's little tiny ones. Yeah, that's an interesting piece. Yeah, go get that one. And pretty much right next to that flower stone, Art picked up this nice basalt that's loaded with tiny little agates. So the vesicles fill with fluids that contain silica and they become these agates and if the vesicles are big enough you end up with Montana agates yeah that's a nice piece art another volcanic breccia but of a gray and green material as opposed to the red and black the green, again, is likely olivine. Get it wet. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Than one. <laughs> we'll make sure this gets into the collection. All right, let me get a few pictures. Very cool piece. You just wonder what the history is. Art says these are coming down from somewhere around Livingston, Montana, into the Yellowstone. So you've seen it in the rough? Like 